most of the time we think about one pot cooking as being the old stew pot, but it doesn't have to be. This is a lovely dish cooked in a saute pan and it's Moroccan meatballs in a very aromatic um, onion gravy, finished with peas and fresh mint. Absolutely delicious. Serve it with crusty bread or extend the theme and serve couscous and use Moroccan bowls. Okay, so we're going to start the dish with a nice onion gravy. So I'm getting my pan heated up with some butter and some olive oil so that the onions are lovely and rich. Now I've got the equivalent of two big onions here, very finely chopped. I'm using a bit of olive oil as well as butter to stop the butter from having any chance to burn. A bit of oil stops it burning and the butter gives it a lovely rich flavour. So in go the onions. So the onions take a few minutes to cook, to soften. Um, over here I've got some peas, some frozen petit pois, which I've just tipped into a sieve and they can just defrost because they're going in right at the end. In here I've got um, some minced lamb, some mint, some finely grated onion, some breadcrumbs, a bit of yoghurt and some cumin. Um, and I'm just going to mix it all up and show you how to make meatballs. I put a bit of salt and pepper in. I'll give it a quick stir first. But the best way is to just get in there with your hands. So I'm just going to do that. So you just keep mulching on like this, imagining it's oh, somebody you don't like. You're squeezing them, giving them a good squeeze, pummeling it. And so it becomes almost like dough. Um, and when it's all squished together, you're aiming to make about 40 meatballs. So the simplest way I find is to just break it in half. So each half is 20 meatballs. And if you go in half again, each one is 10 meatballs. And then you go five from this clump. And to make meatballs, you just pinch off a bit like that, roll them in your hands, bong, it's done. So simple. It really is child's play. You just need to have clean hands. It's quite helpful because um, the mixture can be sticky sometimes. This isn't. Um, is to rinse, just dip your hands under a running tap so that you've got slightly wet hands. Um, that stops your hands sticking to the meatballs. So when we go, it's quite nice doing this with a glass of wine. You have to have someone to feed you it, obviously. Okay, so the onions are starting to take on some colour and, and beginning to soften. So I'm adding the equivalent of a tablespoon of Ras Al Hanout to give it a nice spicy, smoky flavour. Some gorgeous, plump sultanas or raisins, whichever you can get, and a tablespoon of honey. Those are all very Moroccan flavours. I don't want to put the actual honeycomb in. So in it goes. And stir it all around. And then I'm going to add about a pint of stock. This will form the, the sauce that the meatballs are cooked in. And then the peas are added right at the end. You could make it 24 hours in advance and reheat it and then add the peas um, just before you're ready to serve. It's a very obliging dish, but looks stunning. OK, so that's all mixed in. In goes the stock. And we bring this back up to the boil and then turn it down and cover it and simmer it, simmer it for about 20 minutes before the meatballs go in. Now's the time to put the meatballs in. And I can remember the first time I made meatballs and I thought, my God, they'll fall apart. But they don't. They just simmer gently in the stock, well, the sauce, the, the very liquid sauce. And you just shake the pan a few times and, and they're done in about 15 minutes. 
and they reheat beautifully. So you could make this dish to this stage um, 24 hours before. So it's the perfect dinner party dish. A make a head one that you just whip out of the fridge half an hour before your guests come. And that's it. They shrink slightly as they cook, so the pan might look a bit crowded now, but they won't be. That's it. So you can see that the sultanas have really plumped up now and the sauce is bubbling away, the meatballs are cooked. So in, goes the pea, in go the peas, which have completely defrosted. And we don't want to hang around too much with this, which is why we added at the last minute. Um, because the colour will fade and they just look so vibrant. And the last thing is some more mint. And the dish is done. That's it.